the WBA light heavyweight champion received more votes than the likes of Jesse Rodriguez and to win the award. Bival, who now boasts a 21-0 career record in professional, successfully defended his title twice over the past year. The 31-year-old world champion from Russia also recorded two of the biggest wins of his career at the same time to cement his place in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Bival beat by unanimous decision at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas back in May to defend his WBA Super Light Heavyweight title. Six months later he took on previously unbeaten former WBO Super Middleweight Champion Gilberto Zerto Ramirez in Abu Dhabi and unceremoniously ended the Mexicans. 44. Fight Winning Streak Like many, Bival's promoter, reckons that he is the best there is at 175 pounds, I have to say that Dimitri Bival is pound for pound number one, he told Matchroom Boxing's YouTube channel. This guy is so good for so many times. So many people have been telling me this guy is the real deal, and he's just been looking for the opportunities. You've got two things. You've got Canelo Alvarez, that wants to rematch him, probably under the terms that he lost. Saul is the kind of guy that he doesn't want people to think that he's trying to almost change the terms of the fight to benefit him. The reason Canelo Alvarez accepted the challenge against Dimitri Bival is because he was a 175 pounder, and it was a big challenge. But we all know how good Dimitri is now, but can Dimitri make 168? He's always said he could. But he hasn't done it for a long, long time. So we need to speak to both guys. Dimitri Bival is about legacy. He wants the belts. He wants the undisputed championship. If Better Biv is going to fight Yard in February, and then you have Ramadan shortly after. And he's not available until the second half of the year, Bival is going to fight. If that's against Canelo Alvarez, then why not at 168 because that would give Bival the opportunity to become undisputed at 168, and then if he's successful. Then come up and fight better Biv to become a two-time undisputed champion within two fights. That would be quite sensational. And we'll have to speak to both teams and both camps and see what's next. Well, again, depending on if the Canelo Alvarez fight gets made. Dimitri Bival is going to need to fight. So if there's no Bival against Canelo and better Biv is fighting Yard and then has Ramadan shortly after. I think Joshua Boatsy is right in the mix for that. You've got Callum Smith as well. I would like to see the fight between those two. I can't lie. I know they're looking for shots at a world title, but that's a fantastic domestic fight. Well have to see. Dimitri Bival is the king of the division right now. You can keep up to date with all of the latest right here on Gimsport.